Georgia Kelly, Consumer Horticulture Specialist with the Mississippi State University Extension Service, and welcome to Gardening Through the Seasons for March. Early spring, before new growth begins, is when we want to do any needed pruning on our broadleaf evergreens. Now, what do I mean by broadleaf? Well, for example, this Marinelle holly. It are those ever, it's those evergreens that have large, broad leaves as opposed to our needle leaf or narrow leaf evergreens like this juniper. So this is the time of year that we're going to be talking about pruning the broad leaf. There's a host of broad leaf evergreens that we have in our landscapes, like for example this Burford holly right here to my right. There's Nandinas, there's Yopon hollies, there's Mahonias, so there's a lot of these plants that we need to do any needed pruning this time of year. The only broadleaf evergreens that we don't want to prune now are those that flower in the late winter and early spring, like azaleas, rhododendrons, and camellias. These should be pruned right after flowering has passed. The first plant that we're going to look at is the Mary Nell Holly. And you can see from the overall shape of this plant that it already has a nice form that the gardener has tried to maintain. So all we're doing this time of year is to go in and take out those little branches from the tips that really doesn't conform to that nice shape. For example, what we want to do is come in here and remove any branches that are not conforming to the shape of the plant. So we're going to take this one out. And we're also going to take this one right here out. And this is called tip pruning. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to work our way around the whole bush, taking out any branches that do not conform to the overall shape that we're trying to achieve. And what you need to do is periodically step back from the bush and then look at the overall outline to see if you're getting the effect that you're wanting to achieve. The next plant we're going to look at is this Clara. And obviously the gardener has, you know, pretty much maintained a rounded shape. And what we're going to do is another type of temp pruning where we're going to take out these wayward branches that don't conform to this rounded shape. And what we want to do is to take the cut back on into the foliage so that number one, we don't have a little stump sticking up. And then when the new growth comes out, it's going to probably be more in line with the shape that we're wanting. So we're going to go in here and we're going to remove each one of these little stems way back on in the canopy to bring it into the shape that we want. And this is the Clara after we finished our pruning. The type of pruning that we're going to demonstrate now is called shearing. And that's where we're going to go in a plant like this dwarf yopon here, where we want to go in and cut off all these little outside branches and bring it back into its nice form. You can also do this type of shearing on hedges. And the equipment you use can be just the manual big hedge clippers, or you can use electric shears. Now here we have pictures of a bush that has not been pruned, and then right beside it we have one that has been pruned. Now the next type of pruning that we're going to look at is specific to a certain group of plants that have sort of an odd growth habit. And what they do, these are nandinas, and the way that they grow is they wind up with the canopy at the very top and then bare stem all the way to the ground. So with a group like this, what you want to do is to go in and to hide some of that bare trunk we're going to go in and take some of these off at the ground, and we're creating different levels of foliage. So when that comes up, we're going to have foliage down here to hide these bare branches or bare stems, and then we might want to come back in here and cut this one at another level so we have got a second level of foliage that will be coming in and hiding the branch right here. And then we could go back even further and cut at another level. So we wind up with different levels so that we're hiding these bare branches. There's another group of plants that also grows like this, and that's the Mahonias, where they wind up with the foliage up here and then a naked stem. So that's how you should prune those as well. As you prune your broadleaf evergreens, we don't need to be as particular about pruning back to a another bud or a lateral branch because the neat thing about broadleaf evergreens is you can do some really drastic pruning and there's little latent buds all along some of those bare stems that because you're pruning they will begin to grow. So in a huge overgrown hedge like this if you really need to go in and bring it back into shape don't be afraid to get out the chainsaw because you can cut broadleaf evergreens like 
boxwoods and Ely Agnes and this big Ligustrum, you can cut it back to about an eight or 10 inch stump if you need to with no foliage on it and they will regrow foliage. You can't do this kind of pruning though on our narrow leaf and needle leaf evergreens like our junipers and arborvitas and our camiciferous. These do not typically have these little buds and if you prune it back beyond the point of foliage, you're not gonna get new foliage, but with our broadleaf evergreens, y'all, you can. You can go in and drastically prune them to get them rejuvenated into some new growth and get them back in shape. So hey, it's time to get out those pruners and get to work shaping up your broadleaf evergreens for the growing season ahead. I'm Leah Kelly, and this has been Gardening Through the Seasons.